Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is a June 2010-42 variant. Question number one. So have a look here. Uh, two names are there, A name and B name. Okay. So they to they have total money, total money. I just write the word total money. Total money they're going to share in the ratio. Alberto, Alberto will get three ratio and Maria will get five ratio. Very, very clear. Okay. So uh, show that A will get 19, B will get 150. Simple technique we have, I will write in two things here. Two titles. Title number one, dollar, and title number two is a ratio, R and dollar, R and dollar. Or I think so I can find one and then I do subtract from the other. I, I can do even that, R and dollar. So $240, uh, uh, $240 uh, dollars I'm writing here, dollars, total dollars. And total ratio is very clear. Total ratio is very clear, five plus three, eight. So total money, total ratio, right in front of each other. And I'm reading for, I'm writing for A, A must be, okay, what's the ratio of A? Very clear, three. I'm writing here A, I'm writing here three, and then I simply do cross multiply. So A multiply with eight, it will look like this. Eight times two, eight, and three multiply with the 240. I think idea is very clear. And this eight will divide. When 8 will divide, I will get 3 times to 240 over 8. And I get 90 degree, 90 dollars. So, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Now, I, for Maria, how to get Maria? So, so simple way, way to do it. From total money, subtract 90. No need to for the whole working. Okay, we can save our time. 240 minus 90, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Dollar 150 is my answer. So I believe all of you understood well. Let's talk about the part number next. So A invest his $90 for two years for our, per, our percentage and simple interest concept. Okay. At the end of two years, the money he will get is $99. What is a common mistake? I'm going to tell you that. Formula is I equals to a P R T over 100. Basically, what students do mistake here, they put directly $99 in the place of I. This is a big mistake. Why a big mistake? Let me tell you one thing. Investment is 90, so I will give this name as a P. Okay, this is a P. T is a 2. Why? Because investment for two years. Okay, capital R value is small r because rate of interest. Now, question come in our mind. What is 99? Is this value of I wrong? Uh, this 90, I'm copying in the place of P. Okay, alhamdulillah. Capital R value is small r, alhamdulillah. And T value is 2, I'm copying simple and straight. But do you think that this 99 will come directly here? Wrong. Because total money he got after two years is this total money, total money. But for your sake of your knowledge, what does I stand for? I stand for interest or means profit, not his total money. So it means from $99, from $99, which is 99, if I subtract his own money, which is 90, so 90 is a profit. So I think all people understood way, and I always teach this way. So look the way, A is net amount equal to P plus I. So P is investment, which is a $90, okay, done. A is net amount, okay, done. And I is a profit. 90 will go and subtract, and I will get $9. This 9 will come here, and which I observe as a teacher. Many students put 99 directly in the place of I, which is wrong. And right ways, I will plug in the 9. How I got 9, I repeat again. From total money, if I subtract 90, I get a 9 profit. Because in 99, 90 is on money. 90 is on money. And profit is $9 only. So I should not put 99, I should 9 only. And now this 0 cancel out. Okay, this um, uh, this 10 will multiply there. So I'm writing it now here, space problem, 9 and time to 10. And this 2 and 9 will divide on the other side. So 2 and 9 equal to R. And 2, 9, 9 will cancel, 2, 5 are 10. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got 5% rate of interest i believe all of you understood well so this is a major course part which i as observe as a teacher like 70 80 percent student do mistake at this part okay let's talk about next part 
Next part is what student $99 is 60% 60, 60 of the cost of the holiday. I repeat, I send you always the cost whenever comes, cost is deal as 100%. Cost is deal as full amount, 100%. A two title I write here, one title is percentage, second title is dollar sign. So he is saying 60% of this total money is $99. So $99, I'm writing 60, and 100 is my question. So C for cost, and now cross multiply. So C time to 60, which I'm writing here, and 100 time to 90, which I'm writing here. And now this 60 will divide under it. It will look like this, 99 into 100 divided by 60. Okay, and if I type in calculator, or I just do it manually, even I get it, Simple one sixty sixty dollar. So cost of the holiday is becoming dollar one hundred and sixty five. Alhamdulillah, he Rabbil Alameen. I think idea is very clear. So let's talk about next part. This is a very easy part. Not like I'm simple interest. He's saying Maria invest her fee one fifty dollars for two years, and he mentioned compound. So what what is that? What is P here? Investment is P, and time is here two years. Okay, and rate of interest is very, very clear. 4% is very clear. And, and, and find out the exact amount after two years. And you know, by default, compound interest formula is this, which I'm writing. And by default, this A will give you total amount. Not like a simple interest. Simple interest formula never give you total amount. Simple interest always give you profit. Okay, in that profit, I have to is investment, then I get a total amount. But compound interest by nature, by default itself, give us a total amount. Okay, so no need to do manually. Simple. So P is 150 student. I'm putting in the value. A rate of interest is 4%. I'm putting it here and for two years. So simply I, when I type this whole thing in my calculator, so let me find it. Let me find it. And is it is answer what I'm getting is finally one hundred and sixty two point two four dollars. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I believe the idea is very very clear. So let's talk about the last part of the question. Maria continues to invest her money at a four percent per compound interest. Okay, and she get after twenty years. After twenty years, she is getting this much money. And make sure, again, formula A equal to P times to 1 plus R over 100 to power T. First question is that, what is P value? P value is that her money investment. How much Maria's amount? Let's try to find it. The, uh, Ma Maria continues to uh, invest her money. Okay, so where is Maria's money? Let me find it here. One minute, please. Here, Maria's amount is $150 total. So we will take that money, but hold on. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So we will, uh, just a minute here. <clears throat> so this is a one thing, a simple and compound interest and now one simple interest. And that is a P R T over 100. But compound interest, he mentioned no need to find it because his her money after 20 years, years is given. Here is 328.67. No need to calculate. Okay, the money she's getting is after 20 after 20 years is this much. And now we want to find out 20 years by the simple interest. Which he mentioned here, simple interest uh, investment there, so 150. So we want to find difference of each other. Hold on, 150 is a, a p-value, rate of interest is a four, and time for 20 years over 100. So this zero cancel with that, this zero cancel with that. And if you check it clear, carefully, 150. One five into eight, I get one twenty dollars. So one twenty dollars is her profit. Her profit. We have to add one fifty. So amount after P plus I invest P is her investment one fifty, and profit is uh, profit is one twenty. We got two seventy net. This is net, and this is the after five twenty years. But this is a compound interest formula. Is after compound interest she get a money this much, but simple interest. She got the money this, this much. Now, question comes what here? Calculate, calculate exactly how much more. It means I have to subtract them. I have to subtract them. If I subtract 328.67 and 270 subtract, 
So let's check now what answers come. 328.67 minus 270. So answer is coming with us 58.67. So this much money is a difference. So I'm writing here. So how much more? How much more? So $58.67. She will get a more. As com look, compound interest, she getting more money. And simple interest, she getting less money. So difference he was asking here. Okay. Let's go for last part. You know, this as word is very, very important. Okay. I will do this question in two techniques. One cross multiply method and one without cross multiply. Whenever as come after as, this will deal as a full amount. So full amount down and this will come up and in 200. This is called one way. Second way, because I to deal 150 comparison. This money comparison with 150, this I will take as a full amount. Full amount means I will take 150 as a... 100%, okay? And this much money, I want to find for the what? Cross multiply. So if you look at carefully, this starting, these are, they are same. Okay, and let me find it. The answer directly I'm finding, I'm multiplying these two numbers and divide by 150. So let 328.67 times 200 divided by 150. The answer is coming with us. Percentage is 219.11. The percentage is 219 only because we need, we need, we need, we don't want. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe the point is very, very clear and question is completely over.